and I have been sent some gaiters by Golly Goshes to trial, review, see what we think about them. So today is the first day on wearing them, isn't it, Spritey? We've got one so far on the front leg. You can't eat the camera, Spritey. And then one on the back leg. So there's many different styles, colours that you can get. And I've gone for the pink crescent ones to begin with, as I'm going to probably mainly wear them for hacking. They are designed so that they keep your bandages and boots clean underneath. So today we're going to go find some rivers, some muddy patches and give them a thorough test. So this is them when they are fully opened. As you can see, they've got a lovely soft fabric underneath the zip there so when it's up against the horse's leg it's not going to do any damage now you always make sure that the golly goshes logo on these ones is on the right leg so you've got to think about it the velcro coming backwards that's the way that i remember so i tend to just fasten the very top part of the velcro it's super sticky just so that it stays a bit more in place while i get down to the zip so the zip starts at the bottom in. and you can undo that and zip up the fabric is all the way underneath the zip underneath and then you just fasten the velcro back over the zip which has also got this lovely fluorescent part so when we're out hacking be safe be seen I've also got to admit that these ones on the front leg are probably slightly too long for Sprite, but because I wanted to be able to wear them for both Lola and Sprite, I had to go for just one size. Um, so the back legs fit really, really well. These are probably slightly too long, but are gonna fit Lola as well. So that's the reason that I've gone for them. Overreach boot over the top. Am I ready to go for a ride? to begin with but they are looking nice and clean all that mud that we've been through and there's none on it so fantastic saves you having to wash boots because if you're like me my other half hates it when I put them in the washing machine look at that super clean Yeah, 
and the fourth one is clean. After each use, you just need to keep them open and let them dry off naturally. Don't put them on any heaters or anything like that. Obviously, I'm about to go for a ride now on Lola, so these are going to be used again. But then when you come to use them tomorrow or the next time you want to use them, the mud will be nice and dry and you can just rub it off and good to use again. For the extra two minutes it took me to put those gaiters on on top of my boots, it was totally worth it. I can't believe how not one fleck of fresh mud was on my white boots. So I'm really, really impressed. They're completely breathable. They can be used for schooling, lunging, jumping, absolutely any equine discipline they can be used for and they'll protect your bandages or boots. I think they'll be really good for bandages, especially when you go in a wet arena when it's tipping it down with rain or it's been raining and the sand's all wet and that wet sand just gets absolutely everywhere, doesn't it? But if you've got them on over the top of your bandages, it's going to save you a whole load of washing and especially that once they dry out you can just brush them off so ideal super impressed thank you very much to golly golly for sending them to me i'm looking forward to using them more and more